Theodore Ted Maiman holds the U.S. patent for the world's first working laser. His creation using a synthetic ruby and flash lamps was first operated on May 16, 1960 at Hughes Research Laboratories. One of his breakthroughs was the use of artificial rubies as the active medium. Others had judged that rubies did not work, and they were trying various gases. Dr. Maiman found errors in their calculations. He also used pulses of light to excite atoms in the ruby. The laser thus produced only short flashes of light rather than a continuous wave, but because so much energy was released so fast, it provided considerably more power than in past experiments. Dr. Maiman earned his master's degree in electrical engineering and his Ph.D. in physics at Stanford. He had a rare blend of advanced training in physics and engineering combined with significant laboratory experience. The design of Maiman's laser was simple, and it cost Hughes Research just $50,000 to produce. The development of the laser can be traced to Albert Einstein's concept of stimulated emission of radiation, which he put forth in a paper delivered in 1916. But it was a paper on laser theory published in 1958 by two physicists, Charles Towns and Arthur Shawlow, that spurred the race to build the first working laser. Huge government grants, primarily from the Pentagon's Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, were poured into corporate laboratories in public and private universities across the United States in effort of funding the project. But it was Dr. Maiman, a lone physicist at Hughes Electric Corporation in California, working against the wishes of his bosses and against general opinion in the physicist's community that his ideas would simply never work, who actually stepped up to the plate and created the first working laser. With Maiman's successful test of the first laser, a laser boom began. By 1961, the first commercial laser hit the market. Maiman left his job at Hughes to form a commercial laser company. Lasers, which have now become ubiquitous in the years since the first one, are machines that amplify light waves of atoms that have been stimulated to radiate and then shoot them out as fast and as narrow and intense beams of light as possible. Today, the laser has a remarkable array of uses from surgery to shopping. They're used to read CDs and barcodes, guide missiles, remove ulcers, fabricate steel, precisely measure the distance from Earth to the moon, record ultra-defined images of brain tissue, and entertain people in light shows at EDM concerts, like Ultra in Miami, where you lose your mind for multiple days on end, and you might get blinded by a laser in the eye or two. Dr. Maiman was twice nominated for the Nobel Prize, and he won many other awards, including the Japan Prize and the Wolf Prize in Physics. He was inducted into the National Inventors Hall of Fame in 1984, and he published the story of his discovery of the laser in The Laser Odyssey. Theodore Ted Maiman died on the 5th of May in Vancouver, British Columbia, at the age of 79 years old. These are Interesting Things with J.C.